This video will demonstrate how to build a comment that can be used on the elementary provincial report card. This specific example focuses on a student in grade 6 writing who is performing at level 3. However, this same framework can be applied to other subject areas accordingly. With the implementation of Growing Success in 2010, teachers were provided with direction on creating personalized comments for students on the elementary provincial report card. Growing Success states, in writing anecdotal comments, teachers should focus on what students have learned, describe significant strengths, and identify next steps for improvement. In addition, it says, the comments should describe in overall terms what students know and can do and should provide parents with personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback. The question becomes, how do we fill this space in a professional manner that follows the direction from the ministry to meet the needs of students and parents? The comment framework, developed from Growing Success 2010, assists teachers in composing personalized comments on report cards. The comment framework provides a common process for creating comments that reflect the intent of growing success. There are three components in this framework. Write key learning with qualifiers and descriptors developed from a cluster of expectations which focuses on what students have learned. Share specific examples that demonstrate learning by describing significant strengths of the student's work. Communicate next steps to students and parents that will identify strategies for improvement. We begin the process of building a comment by recalling key learning linked to a cluster of curriculum expectations that best reflect a specific student's performance. We are building a sample comment that focuses on one particular student's achievement in grade 6 writing. Teachers are encouraged to consider which strand and cluster of expectations best reflects the individual student's achievement. Within the writing strand, there are four overall expectations. In this example, there were two overall expectations that led to the development of a learning goal. The learning goal is based on a cluster of specific expectations that are related back to the overall expectation. For the first overall expectation, these are the specific expectations that were clustered. For the second overall expectation, these are the specific expectations that were clustered. We continue the process of building a comment by reviewing the learning goal that was developed based on our cluster of expectations. Learning goals are brief statements that describe for students what they should